Hey everyone. So in this video, we are going to talk about the different attribute selection measures that we have. Okay. So while implementing a decision tree, the main issue arises that how to select the best attribute for the root node and also for the sub uh, sub nodes. Okay, that are below the root node. So whatever data set we are having, what we are doing is we are taking the complete data set and passing it to the root node. And then after using some attribute selection measure, we are getting whichever the root node will be moving down below, uh, getting the sub nodes, right? So these are the famous uh, attribute selection measures. We have entropy, information gain, Gini index, uh, Gini index, gain ratio, reduction in variance, and chi square. So out of this, we are going to discuss three of them. Okay, three of them, the three which are quite important to us for the CART algorithm, okay. classification and the regression algorithm. So we are going to discuss about the first three, entropy, information gain and Gini index. Let's talk about entropy. What do we mean by entropy? Entropy is a metric to measure the impurity in the given attribute. Okay, you have any attribute, any feature. Over here, when I'm talking about attribute, just correlate with, with feature or the column name. Okay, the features. So it's a metric to measure the impurity of the given attribute. It specifies randomness in the data. Okay. And entropy can be calculated uh, within with this formula. So we have E. Oops, not E. Sorry. Okay, sum of let's say i equals to one till the last p e of i log two of p i. So this is the formula by which we can calculate e of s. Okay, now if you want me to just uh, break it out, s is the total number of samples. Okay, over here s is the uh, number of samples total number of samples okay and p is the probability now if i have to break it uh, much further what i can write this is entropy uh, let's write e of s e of s is equal to minus p P is nothing but probability probability of yes okay. log two log base two p of yes minus probability of no log two p of no this is how you can find out the entropy okay this is the exact formula to find out the entropy uh, if you want uh, to look into an example, let's look into an example. Let's cut off these for a while. Okay, let's cut this. Don't focus on these. And so we have the formula. And let's say play. Uh, we have to play tennis. Okay, we have to play tennis. We have to predict if we are going to play tennis or not. So we have yes and no okay nine times we have yes uh, nine times we have no, yes and five times we have no if i have to uh, find the entropy okay of play tennis how i will do it so it's of e of five of nine so the formula uh, will be e if you calculate the probability of yes and no, we should be getting something 0 0.35636 and 0 0.624. Okay, and we have to find the entropy of this. So uh, keeping the negative sign outside 0 0.36 multiplied by log base 2 36 minus 0 0.6 uh, I guess this is 4 okay 6 4 log 2 uh, log base 2 6 4 
and if you solve it we will be getting somewhere between 0 0.95 so that's the entropy of this scenario okay we are going to find it out uh, for each and every attribute so what is entropy let's uh, have a quick recap recap upon what do we mean by entropy entropy is a metric to measure the impurity of a given attribute it specifies randomness randomness in the data okay and has the complete uh, understanding about entropy 